Good morning, all my YouTube friends. Hope everybody is having a great weekend so far. Basically just kicked off last night. I wasn't going to do a video today, but um, I'm a little quiet because it's very early. And uh, the wife works night shift, so let her sleep. But anyway, um, I wasn't going to do a video, but I was up. Like half the night, I, I went on YouTube and I'm looking and looking. I thought I did a video on this, but I didn't. So we're gonna do it today. But anyway, first and foremost, for everybody that's done a shout out so far, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I know some can't do a shout out and that's totally cool. It, it, you know, the shout out for my contest, you know, which is in like, you know, two days. So, if you can't do a video, I totally get it, I understand. But don't think that you can't tell somebody to come over. They can still, word of mouth, social media, whatever the case. You know, if, you know, if Frankenstein is a subscriber already, all somebody has to do is say, hey, you know, I'm Michael Myers, Frankenstein sent me. It's, it's cool, you know, you'll all be involved. So, whatever you can do. Again, I totally, totally appreciate all the help and the support you guys have been doing. I was up last night because I, I swore I did a video on this on this knife, and I didn't. I checked and checked, but it had me thinking. And I'm gonna throw a question out to you guys: What is the oldest thing you own? You know, clothes, a car, a ring, jewelry, whatever. I'd love to hear, you know, like how old and what it is. That stuff really, I love that stuff. Good quality items that you still have in decent condition, nice condition. I think the oldest thing that I own is that, is that, that army jacket you see me wearing in the Jaws video, my Quint video. That's an M51 army jacket, and it was made, you know, in the 50s. So that is probably the oldest thing I own. Love that jacket. And how cool was it that it's the exact one that Quint wore? <laughs> well, not the exact, but you know, you get it. His had like, you know, rips and tears and the pocket missing. I wasn't really gonna do that for my video. So, uh, <laughs> it, it's okay. But anyway, I digress. So I'm thinking about the oldest things I own. And then what came up? My Case Double X 223-6. This knife I believe was made in the 70s. Now I have a bucked 124 that I believe is from the 80s. So I thought that that was my oldest knife. Well, I think this guy beats it. It's, uh, it's a little scuffed up, but um, you know, still sharp. You know, you guys know I love my big bowies. Love them, love them, love them. I love looking at them, I love playing with them, but this guy, this guy, I highly recommend. I'm surprised they never, you know, like Buck did, they, you know, they keep, you know, reproducing, reproducing. They never did with this. This is a carbon steel, and it won't let you down. So let's get a good look at it. It's not in the prettiest shape, but it ain't bad either. First of all, we got a nice quality leather sheath the snaps still work and everything that timber rattler i had the tr 126 i think it's like five years old and the leather already like warped on the sheath this guy did nothing you know really fancy it's just a high quality leather sheath that seems uh, to last a lifetime 
And here is the case double X 223 6. Feast your eyes. Some sort of a composite handle. I love that. I love that. I love those little like ridges right there, you know, for your thumb. This is good stuff right here. I love the shape. I love the feel. I don't believe it's full. I, I, if anybody knows the answer to this, let me know. Is it a rat tail? I'm not sure. But uh, let's get even closer here. It's a little smudged and hopefully within the next uh, couple of videos I'll give you an update because I'm going to definitely uh, do my best to get those scratches out okay see up in here hope you guys are getting that it is a uh, it is a workhorse though it, and it really does feel so good in the hands you know, it's light, it's a powerhouse. Let's see here. I don't really like doing paper cut tests, but let's just see the sharpness. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I'm out of index cards, so I'm using the ones I already wrote on. <laughs> Whoop. Still cuts through paper, but it could definitely use a touch-up, okay? So what is the oldest knife you own? How old is it? What is it? Or what is basically the oldest thing you own and you want to share it with everybody? Love to hear what you guys have to say. You might give me an answer and it might ping, you know, strike a nerve where I might have that too. Or somebody that has it also. I don't know. But it's uh, this is going to be a fun little video. I can't wait to see, you know, your comments. I'm really looking forward to that. What else did I want to say? Oh, boy. What does that say? Okay. I'm going to include the links again for the contest. I think a lot of people keep forgetting about my Jaws contest. So I'm going to include both links. You guys are all fans of that movie. At least most of you are. All right. So I'll include those links. And let's see what else. Da, 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 da. That's about it. Oh, do you guys need dimensions of this? Dimensions? Yeah, that'd, that'd help. I would uh, definitely fish around, look for it. And, um, I would definitely grab one. Because before you know it, they're just going to be gone, 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 gone. And whoever has them, you know, treasure it. This is carbon steel. Ten and a half inches overall. Six inch blade. Four and a half inch handle. Okay, that's some sort of like composite. And I like those, those little, uh, that little groove there for you, like your fingers, you know. Just so nice. I wish I could just, you know, hand this to you. Feel this thing. Come on. You know, I would have a heart attack if I see a little hand reaching out of that screen. <laughs> or the lens. So, uh, let me see. Does it work? Of course it works. It did the paper cut test. Let's see how uh, this water bottle, hand, you know, holds up. I don't know if I want to do this. Or that, or this, but uh, let's just do, say, you know, one of these, you know. Oh. I didn't think that was going to work. This thing's pretty uh, darn thick, but we can do that at least. <laughs> I hope I caught that on tape. There we go. 